Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. Today, we're going to wrap up week four of Cut Down the KetoCon with Watch Autumn Keto. And we'll find out our results right, right after, after this. this. So if you're new to our channel, welcome. Like I said, my name is Joe. And I'm Rachel. And we're Two Crazy Ketos. And here on our channel, we do different things like product reviews. We do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics. And then once a week, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is TwoCrazyKetos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And if you are subscribed, don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So right as we finish the introduction, a parrot came flying out. <laughs> Can you guys see him down there on the floor? Look down there. He decided to come visit us. He just wants to hang out. If we try to put him in his cage now, he will just freak out. He's just going to talk constantly. He, he wants to and be a part of this. And then everyone's going to think it's a smoke detector. Yeah, no. He just wants to be a part of this. We're just going to let him. Just let him hang out him. back there. Yep. He's just going to hang. So week four of Cut Down to KetoCon is in the books. So we're just four days away from going to Austin. Four days. And we're still married. We're still married. No cops were called to this residence. I'm still alive. Messenger, alive, breathing. I feel like that is the success of this whole cut. It absolutely was. I mean, we had some weight loss, you know, from the challenge. But for me, it was all about mental clarity and changing our association with food. It got me moving. Yep. The entire time we have been on keto, I have not exercised a lick. Right. That is how much I have hated exercise in the past. And it got me on a bicycle. And I don't even know how many... 100 miles I've you ridden did. incredible in the last month. So yep. I am loving it and we are not stopping now. I think I may even don't like don't listen to this, but I think I may actually get a couple little free weights and maybe start making some getting my hopes up. Making some guns. Welcome to the gun show, everybody. Buy your tickets now cuz they're they're $25 now, but they're going to be 50 at the door. What's very wrong with her? Clearly. So it's the end of week four. We usually do questions with Autumn. And this week we had some subscribers send us some questions for both us and Autumn. And they were really good. We passed so them good. on to Autumn. And she was like, hey, you know what? For week four, let's just answer these together. Mm -hmm. So to check out our answers to these questions, go take a look at Autumn's channel. I will link that video right over Rachel's head. How fun is that? That is awesome. And what we're going to do is we will read the questions and then let you guys see her answers because some of them are long. So there's no way I can memorize them. Yeah. Not her answers, the questions. <laughs> right. So you ready? Yeah, let's do it. So question number one. Did you all have any unexpected triggers or temptations on your cut that threatened your success? If so, what were they and how did they? How did you move past the moment? I gotta think, I don't remember. Okay, well I can tell you number one, like uh, a trigger that I knew was gonna happen was going out of town. Like that is a huge trigger for me. Anytime I leave the confines of my house where I am safe with my meal prep, uh, you know, it, it is a, an opportunity or a chance to just go off my routine and throw my goals out the window. Um, but the one thing that kept me on track this time was really just telling myself, it's just a challenge. It's just four weeks. You can do anything for four weeks. And I think honestly, <laughs> that's the mental trick I'm going to have to use moving forward is breaking up my I guess my goals into smaller segments because it can be daunting like realizing that you have 40 or 50 pounds to lose and that it's going to take eight to ten months and you're just like what is it all for in the day to day so i think breaking everything up into smaller chunks either week long or month long chunks like really helped so that's really what i did to get past it was just like hey it's only for four weeks if you want to go crazy after that, take a day or two, you know, not a week or two. That's what I used to do. <laughs> and that's what gets you in trouble, you know, but I also knew that KetoCon was coming up after this and I knew that I was getting a treat. And so there was really no point in going off plan for a temporary pleasure right then, just because I know that like I'm saving it for a real good time in Austin, Texas. 
Now, unfortunately, we don't live in a bubble, no. right? We have to live outside of this house. And though it is scary sometimes to venture out and, you know, not have your meal prep and be able to go on vacation or or go out to even dinner with friends, you know, like you when you have a plan in place and you have some boundaries for yourself, you can feel safer, yep. right? You can take that with you and have a plan when you leave the house. Right. I love the whole idea of having smaller goals. Like, so have an overall goal, but then set small goals to achieve that goal. Because otherwise, yeah, you see that like, hey, I've got to lose 50 pounds. I've got to lose 100 pounds. You know, that is going to take a long time. And it's so satisfying when you hit a goal. Yes. So why not set a goal like, hey, I want to I want to hit a goal of, I want to lose 10 pounds this month. And then when you hit it, say, okay, now I want to hit the goal of losing, you know, seven pounds this month because we know it's going to go down. We even do it with our channel, right? We had yeah. a goal of going to KetoCon with a thousand subscribers. Yeah. So we ended up hitting that well before us and we said, okay, we're going to go with 1500. So now we're already at 1500. We haven't left for it. So we're setting like mini goals for our channel of like what we want to do, how many videos we want to do. Mm -hmm. Because if I look at like, well, I want, you know, a hundred thousand subscribers and that's my goal. Well, that's years away yeah right? yeah and it's you just you're gonna feel frustrated. like you never hit it whereas if you set the little goals that will work you into your overall goal that really helps that's awesome i love incentive charts right yeah. i like to put star stickers on so as i get rid of things and i feel like a success when it was like stop using gum as a crutch get rid of the aspartame drinks you know, like, yeah, there's there's a big, huge, like, I want to be well and feel great. Well, there's a lot of little stars to put in on that incentive chart along the way. That's right. So question number two, all of us seem to be goal-oriented people. Now that this challenge is ending, have you thought of a new goal for yourself moving forward so that you don't lose momentum in your discipline? So yes, I this challenge worked so well for me that I already know that I'm going to start something similar in August. So July is gonna be a crazy month for me. Uh, it's my birthday month, woo woo. And I do have some planned off keto meals already thrown in there. Uh, but you know, it's probably like three off keto meals. I'm gonna be completely on plan, probably eating around 1500 calories the rest of the time. But starting in August, I wanna get back super strict. Like I said, implementing those smaller goals. So maybe I won't drop 100 calories every week, but I'll go on a cut where I drop 100 calories every two weeks or something like that. But yes, I already do have a plan. August, September, October, I might make it a thing, you know, make a video about it and tell everyone about it. But that is my plan uh, to close out the year and to keep up this momentum. I'm going to work on maintaining in July. That's my only goal. Um, it's just if I eat 1500 calories pretty much every day except for those days where I have already planned to go off plan the least I could do is maintain so if I maintain in July then I'm going to get back strict August September and October I absolutely love that even planning to maintain is a plan yep. that is a good place to be and honestly I think that is fantastic for the August, September, October, you're gonna be going into the holidays successful right. instead of like rolling into the holidays like out of control, which I have done myself in like past years. Right. So I absolutely love her plan moving forward. Right. I think that's just so smart. And what I like is the fact that she knows for her birthday, which by the way, happy, happy birthday. birthday. Um, I love the fact that she knows, hey, for my birthday, I'm gonna go off plan on keto. So she's like setting it up now, right? Yeah. She is planning now. I have three days three days only that I can go off plan so she knows what to do and then she can also know that on these days this is what I'm going to allow myself to eat instead of just going in and going well, you know what I'm off keto today and whatever happens I don't happens. know what could happen like you know? yeah or whatever happens this month who cares it's my birthday month but to know that like I have three days and the rest of the month I have to be good yeah because when I don't have a plan we wake up in Vegas and I've got a tiger in my hotel room <laughs> so question number three what are you most looking forward to reintroducing to your diet once this challenge is complete? You know, that's the cool thing about this challenge is that it has made me realize that like, it doesn't need to be complicated. Like I don't need to do all of these 
complicated recipes in order to not feel deprived. I just have to have a decent amount of food. <laughs> so it's not really like I'm looking forward to introducing a bunch of snacks or, or crazy things like that. Because to be honest, I really enjoy eating at 20 total carbs no matter what. So I'm just going to enjoy reintroducing the quantity of food back into my diet. So no longer eating at 1200 calories. Normally I eat around 1500 calories and that's how I lost all my weight was eating around that many calories. So I want to go as long as possible with my exercise regimen and uh, eating at that amount and, and see how far it takes me before I have to taper off. Uh, but really just quantity of food. I really enjoyed all the food I was eating. Uh, I'm just looking forward to doing more of that, like to eating more of the food. I know that's exactly how you feel. I seriously could not amen that statement hard enough, right? Like I am right there with her. That is exactly, you know, what we were even talking about yesterday by ourselves was just like, it's not a case of I want to reintroduce a ton of food. It's just like, I just want some quantity, yo. Like, please <laughs> bring the food, keto food, but bring it. Okay, so question number four. After having done this, would you consider a more extended cut for yourself in the future? For example, maybe a 90 day cut with less drastic incremental reduction. Are you a mind reader or what? So that's exactly what I said. Yeah, I plan on doing a 90 day cut August, September, October. I really don't know if I would call it a cut. There will be a gradual reduction in calories and maybe that's the only criteria to call it a cut. But I'm also gonna be focusing on, you know, weightlifting and, and different sort of exercises and things like that. So I'm gonna be switching up my goals as well. Um, and I won't really be doing like a carb cut like we did this time. So I'll be doing maybe, you know, 20 total carbs until it gets to the point where I wanna cut my calories and I will be decreasing my carbs as well. But yes, this has shown me some great results and it really felt good just to get back discipline. You know, I don't feel deprived. I don't feel like I'm missing anything. That last week, that was a tough one though, simply just because I was eating so low. But you know, this really just showed me that like, discipline and strict is when I feel the best. And I just have to keep that in mind whenever I'm sitting down feeling sorry for myself because all I want are like mug cakes and gallons of ice cream and things like that. It's just discipline helps me feel the best. Those things are great occasional treats, but you know, even in a situation like this where I had to completely cut them out, that they help me find new things that I love. Like whipped cream, what? You know, like I, I really would have never, depended on that as much as I did if we didn't have the restrictions. So, you know, it really opened my eyes that I can do this and it does actually make me feel great. I think we're on the same page. Mm -hmm. And like you said before, you know, the whole idea of knowing she's going into some kind of a cut or like, you know, tapering off or being super disciplined yeah. for the month of August, September and October, that takes you right into the holidays with a good mindset. Yes. And that's what's really good. Yeah, because that way, you won't be recovering in the next year right. from having no plan for those like fall and winter months. Okay guys, well this was so fun. Thank you so much for collabing on this challenge with me. Like it was amazing. And uh, KetoCon is on Friday. So guess who I'm gonna be seeing on Friday? y'all <laughs> and everyone else everyone else that's coming to KetoCon, i cannot wait to see you i cannot wait to meet you come up to me let's take some selfies let's do a zip fish shake or two and it's gonna be a blast thank you so much for this collab and i will see you at KetoCon. so yes autumn we will see you at KetoCon. we're actually coming in on thursday so maybe we can try to get together before friday warning i'm a hugger yes she's like, a hugger. i'm going to approach you and hug you <laughs> brace yourself <laughs> okay, so we'll see you there. Bye. Bye. So Autumn really did awesome in this she challenge. She was amazing. And check out the end of her video so that you can find out how many pounds and how many inches she lost. Because yep, she really we'll leave did a link down below. have a great success in this challenge. Yep. Um, we didn't measure. Yeah. So I can't tell you how many inches that I lost, All only that my pants are looser. Yeah, I definitely can see a difference in your body. And I know all of my clothes are looser. And for me... I ended up, I, th I don't remember the exact number. I want to say I was like 185, 186 when I started. Uh -huh. And again, the scale changes every day. But yeah. I have been hovering right around 181. And I actually had two days where I saw 179. So wow. I'm right where I want to be. Yeah. You know, I've always felt like as when I got to the weight that I was happy at, I just want to stay anywhere between like 182 
and 186, 187. And so long as I'm always hovering in that range, I'm happy. So this now challenge got me on that lower end and I feel incredible. Yeah, I feel awesome too. This is definitely the most clear that, that I have felt in like a couple of months. Um, not since the egg challenge have I felt this like clarity. Right. Got rid of the, the crutch of the gum got rid of the crutch for both of us of the aspartame. I think like that alone was made this a very successful challenge. Yeah. Um, I started out like between 144, 145, depending on like the time of day. Um, in typical Rachel fashion, got myself up to 146 inexplicably, like in the middle of this challenge. You gotta stay off the scale. I, I you know, it just fluctuates. Um, right now, 140. So about four pounds, I would say. Um, that may sound like a measly amount for a month long challenge. However, it's one pound a week. It's a pound a week. That's what you're supposed to lose. And that is sustainable is yeah. what I like about it. Right. Um, in addition to that, yeah, exercise, something that I never did before and something that I'm thoroughly enjoying. It's actually helping me every day to kind of have a little me time. Because in order for me to exercise for like 45 minutes or an hour, I got to give myself yep. 45 minutes or an hour. And usually I give that to, to something else, right? I give that to a task. I give that to another person. I don't really, you know, take that like alone time for myself. And it's been a beautiful time where I can just be my, myself, listen to music, pray, and, and really just enjoy some nature and sunshine. And look at this. She I am not, tan. not quite as pale as I normally am. So it's been, I think, a very successful challenge for us. Yeah, and for me, my biggest takeaway was just changing my relationship with food, knowing that, like, hey, I don't have to have a dessert every single week. I can go more. And and my biggest success was that I've been a month now without any of the diet soda. I so. am so proud of you. Like, so. really, really proud. So that is the end of Cut Down to Keto Con. It has been such an honor and a privilege to be able to collaborate with Autumn. We're such huge fans of her, yeah. like already. So it's just been such an honor to to be a part of this with her. And she's amazing. I can't wait to meet her in person. Yeah. I'm geeking out for real. Full full scale geek out. <laughs> So we are going to actually continue this for the next four days because we could completely screw this up over okay. the next four days. So for the next four days up until KetoCon, I'm going to eat a, a keto brick and then I'm going to have some ground beef and some butter just to fill up my calories. Yep. And you're doing just a keto brick. Just keeping it simple. Yep. Super simple. So if you're going to be a KetoCon, make sure you look for us. Come on up to us. We can't wait to see you guys. We plan on having a lot of fun and doing a bunch of videos. We got all kinds of, we got our camera, we got our action camera. So we're going to have a blast and we're going to try to keep in touch with you guys while we're there. Yeah. And I hope you've enjoyed kind of watching this journey with us. Yeah. So if you like what you saw, do us a favor, hit that like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.